Supermassive black holes, or SMBHs, are black holes with masses that are several million to billion times the mass of our Sun. The Milky Way hosts an SMBH with mass a few million times the solar mass. Surprisingly, astrophysical observations show that SMBHs already existed when the universe was very young. For example, a billion solar mass black holes are found when the universe was just 6% of its current age, 13.7 billion years. Although dark matter has never been detected in laboratories, physicists remain confident this mysterious matter that makes up 85% of the universe's matter exists. Were the visible matter of a galaxy not embedded in a dark matter halo, this matter would fly apart. Physicists are puzzled why SMBHs in the early universe, which are located in the central regions of dark matter halos, grow so massively in a short time, said Hai Bo Yu, an associate professor of physics and astronomy at UC Riverside, who led the study that appears in astrophysical journal Let. Where it comes to black holes, physicists have general expectations about the mass of a seed black hole and its growth rate. The presence of SMBHs suggests these general expectations have been violated, requiring new knowledge. And that's exciting. A seed black hole is a black hole at its initial stage, akin to the baby stage in the life of a human. We can think of two reasons, you added. The question that then arises is what are the physical mechanisms for producing a massive enough seed black hole or achieving a fast enough growth rate? It takes time for black holes to grow massive by accreting surrounding matter, said co-author Yi Ming Zhang, a postdoctoral researcher at the Its growth rate would be more consistent with general expectations. In astrophysics, a popular mechanism used to explain SMBHs is the collapse of pristine gas in proton during the evolution of the halo. Two competing forces, gravity and pressure, operate. While gravity pulls dark matter particles inward, pressure pushes them outward. If dark matter particles have no self-interactions, then, as gravity pulls them toward the central halo, they become hotter, that is, they move faster, the pressure increases effectively, and they bounce back. However, in the case of self-interacting dark matter, Dark matter self-interactions can transport the heat from those, hotter, particles to nearby colder ones. This makes it difficult for the dark matter particles to bounce back. You explained that the central halo, which would collapse into a black hole, has angular momentum, meaning, it rotates. The self-interactions can induce viscosity, or, friction, that dissipates the angular momentum. During the collapse process, the central halo, which has a fixed mass, as the evolution continues, the central halo eventually collapses into a singular state, a seed black hole. This seed can grow more massive by accreting surrounding baryonic, or visible, matter such as gas and stars. Third, we develop a method to examine the condition for triggering general relativistic instability of the collapsed halo which ensures a seed black hole could form if the condition is satisfied. Over the past decade, Yu has explored novel predictions of dark matter self-interactions and their His work has shown that self-interacting dark matter can provide a good explanation for the observed motion of stars and gas in galaxies. In many galaxies, stars and gas dominate their central regions, he said. This feature is exactly what we need to explain the origin of supermassive black holes in the early universe. The self-interactions also lead to viscosity that can dissipate angular momentum of the central halo and further help the collapse process. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more updates.